In this example, we determine the sizes of DC wires in a residential scale PV system. Our system will have two strings of sharp 224 modules on a roof, as shown here. Each string has the same number of modules. In this example, we'll choose to connect the strings to each other in parallel up on the roof. We'll connect the positives and the negatives inside a junction box. We'll use gray lines to indicate wire with white insulation. From the junction box, we'll go a small distance on the roof and then down the wall to a DC disconnect switch and the inverter. The wires from the junction box to the inverter will all be in conduit. We'll assume a maximum ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. With this design, we see that there are two current carrying wires in the conduit. There is also a ground wire in the conduit, but it doesn't count as a current carrying wire. Each current carrying wire, the positive and the negative, carries the current of two strings of modules down to the inverter. Here is an excerpt from the spec sheet of the sharp module. For wire sizing, we are interested in the short circuit current shown here, 8.33 amps. So with two parallel strings of modules feeding the wires in the conduit, each with a short circuit current of 8.33 amps, the positive and negative wires in the conduit need to be rated for 2 times 8.33 times 1.25 times 1.25, which comes to 26 amps. We'll use copper wire rated to 90 degrees Celsius. In the impacity table, this column shows the impacities of different sizes of 90 degrees Celsius rated wires when measured at 30 degrees Celsius. The entry for 10AWG copper wire has an ampacity of 40 amps at 30 degrees Celsius, but we are going to encounter hotter temperatures on this roof. Let's see if 10AWG is really enough. Let's assume that our conduit is half an inch above the roof. This table tells us that we need to do our calculations of impacity at the maximum ambient temperature expected plus 22 degrees Celsius. So for a maximum ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, we'll need to design for a wire temperature of 40 plus 22 degrees or 62 degrees. At temperatures other than 30 degrees Celsius, the correction factor to the impacity is found in the bottom of table 310.16. As before, we use the column for copper wire rated to 90 degrees Celsius. We determine that we need to design for a wire temperature of 62 degrees Celsius, so we see over here that the correction factor is 0.58. We can now calculate the ampacity of 10 AWG wire at 62 degrees Celsius. We start with the ampacity at 30 degrees Celsius, which we saw is 40 amps. We then multiply this by the temperature correction factor of 0.58. Since we only have two current carrying wires in the conduit, we don't need to multiply by a conduit correction factor. When we multiply 40 amps by the correction factor of 0.58, we get 23.2 amps. But we determine that we need an ampacity of 26 amps, so 10 AWG wire is not big enough. So let's go back to our table of impacities. Since 10 AWG is not thick enough, let's try the next larger size listed, which is 8 AWG. The impacity of 90 degrees Celsius rated 8 AWG wire at 30 degrees Celsius is 55 amps. Now if we calculate the impacity of 8 AWG wire at 62 degrees Celsius, we get 55 amps, times the temperature correction factor 0.58 giving us 31.9 amps. This is greater than the required ampacity of 26 amps, so 8AWG wire is thick enough for this array. So returning to our system diagram here, we found that the wire in the conduit going from the roof down to the disconnect switch and the inverter needs to be 8AWG. But 8AWG wire is thick, difficult to work with, and expensive. Let's look at an alternate solution. Suppose that instead of merging the two strings up on the roof, we bring the pair of wires from each string all the way down to the DC disconnect. 
Most inverters have connectors for separate pairs of wires from at least two strings. Now what wire size do we need in the conduit? Each wire now only needs to be rated to 8.33 amps times 1.25 twice, which comes to only 13 amps. This is only half of what we needed before. Going back to our table of ampacities here, we see that even 12 AWG wire may be enough. 12 AWG 90 degrees Celsius rated wire is seen to have an ampacity at 30 degrees Celsius of 30 amps. You might think we could go even lower, but wire smaller than 12 AWG is not recommended for PV systems. However, the two pairs of wires, one pair form each of the strings, will generally share the same conduit. So we'll have a total of four current carrying wires in the conduit plus a ground wire. With four current carrying wires, the table for the conduit factor tells us that we need to multiply all impacities by 80% or 0.8. So now when we do the calculation for the impacity at 62 degrees Celsius, we take the impacity at 30 degrees Celsius, 30 amps, and multiply it by the temperature correction factor of 0.58. But then we also need to multiply by the conduit correction factor of 0.8. This comes out to 13.9 amps. 13.9 amps is greater than the required ampacity of 13 amps. So we can use 12 AWG wire. But it's not very much bigger. 12 AWG wire is barely enough for the array in this wiring configuration. A better choice is probably the thicker 10 AWG wire. But we need to recalculate the ampacity of 10 AWG copper wire to include the conduit correction factor. So we start with the ampacity of 10 AWG wire at 30 degrees Celsius, which we found in the table is 40 amps, times the temperature correction factor of 0.58, and now times the conduit correction factor of 0.8. Multiplying these together, we get 18.56 amps which is much bigger than the 13 amp impacity that we need. So 10 AWG is plenty. An advantage of using 10 AWG wire here instead of 12 AWG wire in addition to being clearly above the required ampacity is that the thicker wire has a lower resistance so less electrical power from the array is lost in these wires. In summary, we determine the required wire size for the wires from the roof down to the DC disconnect and the inverter in this system, assuming a maximum ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. We found that 10 AWG wire is not thick enough to meet the requirements, so we had to use 8 AWG wire. Also, we considered a design in which we run a separate pair of wires from each string down from the roof to the DC disconnect and the inverter. In this case, we found that the wires in the conduit could be only 12 AWG. However, this size is only barely big enough. If we go to the thicker 10 AWG wires, then the impacity is plenty. An advantage of using 10 AWG wire is that it has less resistance, which may be important if the wire length is long. Also, in this design, we can easily test both strings of modules independently from the ground which can save us trips up to the roof.